Hi, and welcome back. Today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to set up the SQL monitoring integration for a Microsoft SQL Server. So we're going to go and first let's take a look at the SQL VM that I actually have set up here in my system. Um, the VM I just created is called Test SQL 1. And let's just go in here so we can grab the IP address of this VM. So um, now we're going to navigate over to monitoring integrations or integrations. Um, and this is where we can actually configure um, the monitoring for the SQL Server. You can see I already have two set up, but let's go ahead and configure a new instance. So um, I'm going to paste that IP address I copied from the VM there. Um, and I'm just going to use the port 1433, which is already filled in for me. And now I need to fill in the username and password of, um, for my SQL server here. So I'll just go ahead and hit test connection here to verify that everything's working. And it seems like that was successful. So all I need to do is save now. And it seems like I might just need to wait here for a second until the collector is configured. All right, so it looks like that just finished up, and now we can come into the VM that I just set up here, and we'll see that it now has some of the details here, and it's starting to report the CPU memory usage, and uh, we'll be able to get a breakdown of the databases in this VM, any queries that might be running are starting to get tracked, and then uh, the metrics, which there's not much data yet, but it should be coming in the next couple of minutes. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up the SQL monitoring integration, and stay tuned for more episodes on how to make your IT operations more efficient.